Hey everybody, Mark Bates here, the author of Programming in CoffeeScript. I have a few tips for you today on CoffeeScript itself. Um, so the tip I'd like to share today, today is classes. Classes are something that JavaScript does not offer out of the box, what with it being a prototype-based language. However, CoffeeScript has done a little bit of uh, magic on the back end here to make class structures possible. Um, really, at the end of the day, it's just creating functions under the covers that you can create new instances of. But thankfully, you don't need to worry about that. You get this nice little syntax for creating classes. So let's create a little class. Let's create an employee class. And that class is going to have a constructor, which is going to take an optional list of options. And it's going to have a salary function. And in that function, we're going to say, if they've passed in a salary, then return that. And otherwise, return a salary of $250,000. This is one well-paid employee. So on the screen, we can see what that class definition would look like. And as you can see, we create two employees. The first employee doesn't have any options passed in, so he's going to get a default salary of $250,000. The second employee is going to get a salary of $100,000. And if we called the salary function on that employee, we'd get back $100,000. Class structures are great. They're very, very useful. I use them all the time. They're great for encapsulating code, kind of keeping things modularized, um, and helping to model real life um, objects, you know, such as employees or cars or trees. We can take the concept of classes even further by using um, inheritance, which is again something that JavaScript doesn't necessarily offer us out of the box, but CoffeeScript pulls some magic out of its hat and allows us to do it. So here we can create a class of a manager and have it extend an employee. So all we're going to do in this case is we're going to override this, the default salary to be $500,000. Again, one very well-paid manager this time. Um, and you notice in the constructor we're actually calling super. And what that's going to do is call the super function uh, of the super constructor on the employee class. So it's going to make sure that there is a, a default option set. Now if we create a new manager and we call salary on it, that manager is going to get a default salary of $500,000. And that super keyword is really useful. We can use that everywhere in our extended class. So here we're going to override the salary function this time, call the super salary function that's on employee, and we're going to add a $10,000 bonus to that salary. So now this manager not only does he get $500,000 a year, which is, again, pretty nice, but he also gets a 10 k bonus, which I guess at that point is just you know pennies in the dollar. Um, but anyway, that's my little tip on classes. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed my other tips as well. If you enjoyed them, I'd highly recommend checking out my book, Programming and Copy Script. It's available at all good bookstores near you and online. Um, I'd recommend going to markbates.com uh, to find out all the different places you can buy it. And uh, follow, please feel free and follow me on Twitter. Uh, my, name, my handle is Mark Bates. Difficult to remember, I know. I'd love to have you as a follower, and I'd love to catch up with you at conferences. So please feel free and approach me, and let's talk CopyScript. Thanks a lot.